Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode. Um, okay, so kind of the celebration continues. I know this is effectively Tuesday's show, so I should be uh, elsewhere right now. But um, yeah, another <laughs> another wine library wine. Um, I bought this wine uh, a few years ago, and uh, on the advice of, oh, it helps if I actually have the front part there, uh, on the advice of Gary Vaynerchuk, because he was raving about 2005 Bordeaux. Now, especially back then, I really couldn't tell you what Bordeaux from a Burgundy and what a good vintage was. So, oh, okay. So, um, you know, he kept raving and raving and raving. So, I, I bought this wine, and uh, it doesn't have the price on here, but if I remember correctly, it was 1995 or 1999 uh, at Wine Library. It's the Le Sensual. Uh, 2005 uh, is from the Côtes de Bourg uh, appellation in Bordeaux and uh, I don't have the breakdown of varietals but it is a right bank Bordeaux which means it's typically means it's a Merlot based uh, wine and uh, I did some research and, and not this particular specific wine but the, the area of Bourg in Bordeaux um, or wines that come from there, you know, will have Merlot is their the majority of the or, or the largest percentage of, of varietal, along with Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. So uh, I don't have breakdowns of all that, but uh, it's not uncommon with with Bordeaux wines is not really be able to get the exact breakdown of all of the grapes that are in there. Um, this particular part of France is uh, Borg is like I said, it's on the right bank, so it's on the east side. And uh, it's actually north of all the like famous parts of the right bank. Um, it's uh, almost literally across the river from uh, Medoc, and really almost directly across from the Margot part of the Medoc on the left bank. So let's check it out. Oh, and, and the reason it's uh, I've been waiting. I've been kind of waiting for a special occasion to open it up because it is supposed to be a, you know 2005 was considered a, a, an incredible. Uh, vintage, so even I could make a good wine out of those grapes, supposedly. So let's check it out. I've been I've been waiting for probably three years to open this bottle. So yeah, two or three years. So let's check it out. Already, I like this. I got hints of chocolate. It got some greenness to it. A little bit of a little bit of earth. Though I, I'm getting some heat, like my, my nose is kind of burning a little bit. It is, I think it was a 14% wine. Oh, it's only 13%. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting I'm getting the alcohol also. It's just kind of a turn off, but otherwise. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. Some dark fruits too. Let's let's check it out. Fairly tannic. Um, getting those dark fruits again. Getting hints of pepper, you know, small hints of pepper. Um, the tannins are overwhelming. Uh, the initial attack was really was pretty astringent, but now it's it's softer, um, which is more the characteristics of the Merlot, where where, the, where uh, it's easier it's easier to drink or it's easy drinking uh, compared to a Cabernet Sauvignon based wine. Uh, Merlot tends to be a little bit softer, but it's there. Um, wow. It's 
got a little bit of tartness to it, a little bit sour, but I'm getting the hints of pepper, uh, dark fruits. Um, not really getting the chocolate on, on the palate like I was getting on the nose. And it's not hot. Like, I don't get the burning sensation like I get from the nose. Like, the nose, I get, it's kind of, it kind of puts me off in the nose with, with, with the alcohol or that burning sensation. But I don't get that at all on the palate. Um, my mouth keeps watering. So, um, I really, I really like this wine. Um, and I should, it's 20 bucks, or it was. Uh, I have no idea how much this wine retails for now, and uh, or if it's even available, at least at Wine Library or anywhere else. The nose is calming down a little bit more, but I can still get that alcohol. And the palate's getting a little bit smoother. I mean, this is, this is, this is a wine I, I do like. Um, I'm going to give it a 90 for a score. Um, and the reason I'm, I, another reason why I opened this is tonight we're going to have some good stuff. I think we're going to have some steaks tonight. So this is going to pair really well with that. Uh, let's talk about the, the winery real quick before I run out of time. Um, it's in the, well, this part, this wine is from the Borg area, like I said. The winery is actually in the Medoc region, and they, they talk about it's part of their, uh, part of their acreage is in the um, uh, Margot area, but uh, the, the grapes from, from for this wine don't come from there. Um, the winemaker is Philippe uh, Philippe Roux, uh, who's apparently really like well known. Uh, but it's it's kind of neat because their website's really cool. Uh, the link will be up below. And uh, excuse me, I mean, they've got a restaurant. They've got you know wine tastings, the tours. I mean it's it's. A, the website's really nice. I mean, it's it's probably one of the nicest uh, overall. Probably one of the nicest websites uh, for a winery I've I've seen. Um, the 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 website for this champagne pretty slick too. Um, I have a phone call coming in, so let's uh, let's decline that. Anyway, um, but uh, so their their uh, chateau. Is uh, is in the Medoc, uh, the winery itself is in the Medoc, and uh, but this is coming from across the river on the right bank. I just want to highly recommend it if uh, if you can find it. And like I said, it was around twenty dollars. I think it was nineteen ninety five or nineteen ninety nine when I bought it a few years ago. Uh, and that's it. Friend me up. I forgot to mention the shirt yesterday, but if you need a shirt like this, my buddy George promo George on Twitter. Um, I put links to the website and links to his. Uh, Twitter account so you can hit him up for this and um, that's it. We'll see where we begin tomorrow.